Oh, I took this <laughs> advantage of the weather and I went to Hilton Head this past weekend. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> oh, the nice sunshine, the sand, mm -hmm. the beach, and I'm hoping to keep this little record of sunshine and heat going here in Central Georgia, right? Uh, got bad news for you on that one. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, not going to see too much sunshine and heat. The heat will probably still be here a little bit, but I don't know about as major as it is right now. It is hot outside and feeling like summer as we do get the unofficial uh, first start of summer for Memorial Day weekend right now. 90 degrees down in Lawrence County. Dew point a little bit lower in the upper 60s, but still having influence making that temperature feel three degrees warmer down in Dublin. So that is the case all across central Georgia. You're seeing a lot of red on the temperature map areas in the upper 80s, low 90s. That's not too bad when you look at it because obviously we know in the summertime months, central Georgia can get up into these upper 90s, maybe even 100 degrees. But as you can see some areas are feeling over the triple digit mark like Eatonton up here at 103. A lot of areas have waned off as we are kind of getting into the cooler down uh, hours of the evening, but still feeling very, very hot across central Georgia. And when we have these very warm temperatures and all this humidity, you may think pop up thunderstorms all over the place, but that is not the case today. Just some occasional clouds to give you a little bit of shade. Instability values are a little bit too low to produce those pop up thunderstorms down here. But if you're looking further to the north and further to the northwest, we have a lot of active weather all over the Appalachian Mountains stretching over into the Midwest around Kansas, Illinois and Arkansas as well. And that weather will be impacting us in just a little bit. Well, one last talk about the temperatures and then I promise I will stop telling you how hot it is outside. As you can see areas anywhere from about six, maybe seven, eight, nine, ten, or 12 degrees warmer than what we were at this time yesterday. But we have a pattern shift for tomorrow. As you can see tomorrow's storm outlook, almost all of central Georgia and a level two out of five severe weather risk and then our far south eastern counties and a little bit of a level one, but still parts of those counties still in that level two. The main effect going to be damaging winds, but also the possibility of a tornado spin up or hail is going to be present. So let's time it all out. And when I show you this, keep in mind the graph has been terrible at resolving these kind of lines of storms, these MCSs that we have been having moved through. So take this with a grain of salt right here. As you can see, hinting at that initial line to fall apart as it moves through central Georgia. And then for uh, uh, the afternoon hours is when stuff will start to pop on up. Very scattered in nature, not much organization to this whatsoever, but I am agreeing with the fact that we are going to see locally heavy amounts of rainfalls and also a couple of strong to severe uh, storms associated with this line of rain that moves on through. Tuesday's looking clear, still up in the 90s in some spots, and then Wednesday we drop back down trying to get to that 90 degree mark, but going to struggle, which is fine by me after the heat that we are receiving today. So let's take it to the high res model. This has been a lot better at resolving these lines of storms that are moving on through very summer like. So as you can see, not hinting at that falling apart in our northern counties as it rolls on in here at about the 1 p.m. hour. As you can see, I'll move out of the timestamp right there. And then by about 5 p.m., still scattered about central Georgia, but still hinting at these cells popping on up behind that main line of rain, which I do believe is going to happen. So it's looking to be a busy afternoon here in central Georgia before it does clear on out overnight into Tuesday. But for the rest of today, I will go ahead and show you it is not Easter. I forgot to change that, but the grill cast still stands. All green spatulas on the board. So if you're doing any grilling tonight will be the night to do it as opposed to tomorrow night. So for tomorrow, showers and storms a level two out of five severe weather risk. Once again, a high of 92 degrees going to be a warm one as well. And the seven day still two days in the 90s, but then we have some 80s and then dropping down to the mid 80s by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. Some slim rain chances due to the sheer amount of moisture and then another rain chance as we get to the end of next weekend. But after we get through tomorrow, should be smooth sailing from there.